Hello folks and blokes, welcome back to another episode of Yeast Part 1 playthrough and I've got sounds this time <clears throat> yeah, um, what I didn't know that my, I, ha I was wearing my headphones yeah I didn't know I was wearing them, <laughs> nah it doesn't pick up in game sounds um, on me Android, yeah but um, uh, in the last playthrough I mentioned about the opening theme on this game so, as there was really wasn't any sound, it was just very, very, very little bit. I'm going to actually play that opening so you can hear the music. Because the second game, if I ever do it, is big. Please, family friendly. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pause the video and get the last saved game back up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so where we left off last time... We just freed F uh, Fina, um, and we got some treasure and that outside with a locked key. Um, now our objective is find the Book of Yeast in the basement. Oh gold, hang about, I forgot to get my maths up, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, right, uh, before I begin, I don't know if it comes up, but this is the Tempor Salmon. Is that kind of a fish? Anyway, uh, I think I've got all that guy's data. Yeah, obviously I haven't seen it there. Right, we're going straight down here. 
Oh, I did make a mistake about a sword in the shop. Uh, I said that um, it's only available once you've been in the mines. You don't have to do the mines. Well, I was wrong about that. You actually have to finish this tower and then do something else, which I will show you when we've done this tower to get the sword in the last sword that you're able to buy. Uh, first of all, let's get some of this uh, enemy's data. Looter from Luton. No, wrong way. That is actually the area we need to go, but I need to get these enemies data. <clears throat> Enjoy the music. Bonus. <laughs> kind of a name for a spider is a boner. Yeah, if you examine chests when they're open, they'll just say it's empty. Oh, we've got another piece of data for the boner. Yeah, on this game there are only three uh, data infos per enemy. <clears throat> I'm not sure, because I haven't got all the data for the enemies. Maybe there's an achievement you get at the end. Oh yeah, um, this is the Android version, by the way. Yeah, on the, this is the second floor, of course, but, or second basement floor, B2. I think the bowlers and the looters are the only enemies on this floor. And walking around this way is probably the fastest way to get the data from them. There's all the data for the boner. If I'm actually pronouncing that right. Oh, a level up. <clears throat> yeah, just walk down uh, away from an enemy for a few areas or steps or whatever and go back and they respawn. About this distance away to have them respawn. There we go. <clears throat> No, this is right. <clears throat> I'm still gonna kill every on the way because of course experience points and the money. Right. Uh, huh. Right. Basement level three. Just getting this up on the map. There we go. So there are going to be new enemies on this map. I think there's three new enemies. Head. There's just Ivory Key, not Ivory Coast Key. <laughs> if you're a football fan and you see the Ivory Key, being on the football team Ivory Coast. <clears throat> I don't know why I think that. Now this um top area because yeah you've got an area up here and an area down below is where you find all the heads there's nothing that oh no 
fill in. No monsters. There is monsters there. That's the bottom area. The other two er uh, enemies are at the bottom area. And just one head. So have, you, have you ever had head anyone? anyone? <laughs> that is personal. Do not tell me. You don't give that information out. Maybe to your back, to your mates after a few drinks. <laughs> well, we've got one part of the head data. Um, what are they called? Um, I don't know. Can't really see that. It looks like a P or an R. Recite, recite. I'll be honest with you, folks and blokes. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a hundred percent good reader. I'm more like ninety percent good reader. And no, it's not um, due to uh, um, what is it? Uh, learning difficulties. I don't have that. I actually have the opposite. It's laziness, you could say. <laughs> I'm going to admit it. I'm a guy who's truthful. And something else I want to tell you is, um, when I, on a few streams ago, or not streams, I would call them videos. Streams to me are streams live. And then when I'm off, it becomes a, on the YouTube instead of video to me. So a few videos ago, I said something that I should not have said. Um, I said something like, um, autistic motherfucker. That was pure, pure slip of the tongue. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't mean that. It was just a pure slip of the tongue. And I do think Tourette has something to do with that, which I do have. There's the other um, thing, Elias, which is like a lion. And then I said, like, um, I do have autism, I have that behavioural one. I have found out what that is. It's the um, person borderline personality disorder, which is also an autism. There's all sorts of autisms out there. You don't have to be like, and you're autistic and that's it. You could be some, geni some geniuses out there are autistic. It's just different types. And I have the borderline personality disorder. Well, I saw I've heard that there are different types of that as well. Um, and my, the, the, actual, the actual one I have is known as PDA. PDA. P yeah, that's it, personal. Uh, no, PDA, yeah. Which is a borderline personality disorder, which is also um, an autism. Look, I'm not getting any data from this guy. No, they do, um, they do take a while. And it does seem like I'm needing more to level up. Um, I did say before that I wasn't going to skip or edit or stop the video while I'm grinding like this. Because you might want to know how long it takes. And then I get, probably get people saying, oh, you should have skipped it. You can't please everyone, but at least you at least you can please some. That's all that counts. So yeah, I am gonna apologise for that slip of the tongue thing I said. I am sorry. And I'm not that kind of a person. And for those who take the piss out of people with disabilities, you're living in the nineties. <laughs> Disability people and that Disability problems are way more understanding now. So if you're taking a piss out of people with disabilities, you need to come out of the 90s. <laughs> Even the 80s weren't that bad, apparently. There was the 90s where it was bad. And yeah, I have been a huge victim of that. Huge. I am lucky I had my older brother, who actually prevented me from getting beaten up many times. Because of my problems. Oh well, we've got his data. Okay, right. Um, right. I want to go in here. Nothing there. Now we want these guys' data. Come on, any treasure chest, which is a silver shield. Oh, it automatically equips, but I'm going to show you it. Oh, no, wrong button. Um, we've got a shield there, but we're getting a shot. 
On the DS version, there's actually another um, load of weapons, slot of weapons you can get. It is, I think it's in an area that's not on any other version, just the DS version. Which the map, I didn't say this in the last playthrough of this. Never even said it on me, uh, um, oh, there's two enemies. Was there two? Uh, I never said it on me, uh, Yeast 8 stream, but I did leave a link in the description of the maps that I use. Hello, five actually peasant. Yeah, I didn't actually plan to do that, but then I thought, you know what, I think I'm better. So, yeah. I'm not going to leave a link in this one. I'll leave it, it'll just stay in the first video. And no, I'm not doing that so you can view it. It's just that it is, um, um, tricky and that to post and copy. I find the tablet kind of don't work sometimes with that. Oh, level up, nice. Right, I think we've only got two more levels left. Not never mind, level eight, yeah, as I said before, it's only ten levels on this game. The next game, it like four times, I think it's like level 40 or 30. Or something like that. The DS, of course, version needs a lot more levels because, yeah, they, they increase the levels, but every level up is actually quicker to level up, and every level on a DS version, your stats and HP don't go up as much as you would on any other version. Also, I said before that there was a NES Nintendo version of this game. The level up system on that is actually broken. <laughs> the highest level for your stats to go up is actually 16. Um, but it does actually go over that. In fact, there is no limit. But your stats will randomly change from higher or lower. Yeah. In fact, if you get to level 99, it goes to level 0. Uh, but all your stats, your HP, defense, and attack will change randomly. It could be higher, it could go down to 1, which you are basically screwed. And the uh, EXP, they do uh, get, when it gets like the highest number, it will go down to like, you need like 100 again. Right, okay, we've got that. Now we want to go in here. That's all the data from the enemies. Yeah, yeah oh, there's a box there. That's all the data from the enemies in this um, shrine. Yeah. Now we want to go in this statue. Heal, healing potion. You can buy those in the shop. I'm going to show you where that is when we get out of here. I didn't show that in the last video. Okay. So here, we want to um, go into the items and put that mask on that we got for saving Fina and... Oh, and uh, we see hidden doors, but you can't see enemies. The enemies are invisible. You can still attack them like I showed you. And of course, the Nintendo version, you can actually still see the enemies. Now we'll go over here into here. And there's that chest. Come on, that's it. Marble key. You lost your marbles, mate. <laughs> that is actually a joke from the movie Hook, where uh, the old guy says, I've lost my marbles. Yep, he doesn't have. We go back round here, here, and then we go up here, into here. Uh, here. Gotta be careful not to go too far, because there's a boss door. Okay, I did say this in the, I did not, sorry, I meant say this in the last video, which I should have. You cannot heal when you fight the boss. So with your potions, you may as well use them, if, um, even if you're 1 HP. Um, because you have no other use for them uh, before the boss. 
And in dungeons, you can't stand still and heal. Right, um, that's that. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to save it first. Now, I've got um, a save here, but I'm going to make a new save, just in case this video fails and it doesn't upload. I did that before on the Final Fantasy VII playthrough. Right. That's one of the keys we use, and here's the other key that we use. And we go up to it, examine this wall, just walk up to it, and we get... Now, on... Before I begin, um, on the Mega Drive version, you have to hit this guy's head. On any other version, you have to hit the guy's towel. This Android version can hit anywhere on it. So just swing around, attack him. Four hits. Because the Android version, they and it's only the Android version, they really tone down the difficulty. And we go from here at it. And we get the Book of Yeast. Hey. There are six of them all together, don't forget. Now we have to walk all the way out. <laughs> I'm not going to edit walking out because some of you may not know how to get out. Yeah, that's one thing that I will never do. That's one thing that I so disagree on on playthroughs. Is um, when they edit a video when they're walking out. Don't fucking do that. If people are brand new, they don't know how to get out. Well, you want to watch your video again to give you another view and watch it and just like reverse it. Fuck off. Do a walkthrough or playthrough properly. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry, I've gone the wrong way. Go through the statue, don't we? Yeah, those who do that are actually only thinking of themselves because they want to not. Yeah, I know it'll take more time in a video, but think, people want a pot of wolf throw. Even if you're um, using up a load of minutes, you would have to do more videos than that. Think of the others before, you, I mean, yeah, you've got to think of yourself as well when doing YouTube. You've got to um, think of your health, your mood, and that, and if you're enjoying it. But, if you're, if you're enjoying it, then do the walkthrough properly and think of the others as well with that. Oh. Yeah, I'm skipping past that boner. Sounds like I'm saying boner. <laughs> nah, never mind. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually looking at the map, I should be. I haven't got this, I've got I've done test runs of this cave so many times that I've basically got it memorized. <laughs> I did start a uh, part one play for a Kingdom Hearts 3, didn't I? I am, in the end, going to do all the playthroughs that I started. But I'm going to do that when I'm finally back to normal without the panic problems. Right, I'm going to have to look at it now. It hurt me, uh, Matt. Okay. Let me stand still for a moment. There we go. Yeah, in this uh, area you can stand still. So if you actually want to grind a lot, and it's for all versions, on the on the first one, and you're getting lower health, just make your way back here and stand still if you've got no potions. Oh, there is also something I want to show you that I um, didn't, and I didn't mention it, so I apologise again. And it's gone home. There is a chest. I did not mention this at all. It is empty. Yeah. There's an open one there. Also empty. My own. Yeah, you didn't hear any of this music on the last uh, play for this. This is actually basically like a, a remake of the opening theme. Right, now we have to go back to Sarah.
Oh, before I begin, um, on the Android version, I think maybe the PSP version as well. God, no. Right. Going to options. Sound. And you've got original. This ain't the original theme. But you've got three different sorts of ways you want to hear this music. You've got that. PC88. This is definitely not the theme from the PC version, because I've got the PC version. And you've got the Chronicles. Now, I like the original, because it's like guitar -y. Which is definitely not the original. The original are like the Mega Drive and the NES. That's the original. Okay. Now, before I begin, um, I'm actually going to do this one. So, by the time you come out, you really should have enough money for this. I want to buy a treasure, and I want to buy a wing. That will teleport you from anywhere back here. I mean, not back at this shop, back at the entrance of this village. Now, there is an area in the next dungeon I'm only going to do a bit of, and then come out and do some other stuff. I'm not going to fast travel out of there, because we need to come back here. Well, we don't need to. Yeah, we do need to come back here after the mines, but... Um, I'm going to do it while I'm halfway through the mine, not walking out. But you should all have enough money. Oh, where's Sarah? Okay. Ah. Oh dear. <laughs> right, there's the, the the mines, the second dungeon. I did actually um, uh, spoil that in the last video. Right, okay. So, if you go up here, well, I'll show you where it is near the entrance. Uh, no, that's not the entrance. There's the entrance, so if you go down, and then right, that's the pub. Uh, is it here? Yeah, here is the hospital. And you heal your wounds, um, buy medicine, that's another one of those potions. Speak to her, or end the conversation. And now, in the next dungeon, a spoiler alert, okay, not, not a big one at all. Maybe you need to hear it, but I will show you it when I get in there. But, um, right, you've had enough time. Um, there is, um, two potions in there. So this is how you get that sword, okay? As we can see, the towel well. It will say the same thing, okay? Actually, I don't think I showed you what he said before. Now, you have to finish the other dungeon. I did actually test run this. Then you go to speak to the owner. Yeah, then he says, I finally got one in stock. Yeah. So you have to, you can't, like, be halfway through that other dungeon and it'll be here. No. So, yeah, also, you do need to examine the sword when he, and make him say, I haven't got one in stock at any time of the game, not just here. And it's 5,000, so yeah. A better sword, nice. And of course, it will automatically equip it. Um, now, I think I have the other armor. No, the reflex. That's 5,000 as well. Uh, I do not need the other shield because I've got the silver shield, but I'm going to get it anyway because what else am I going to use my money on now? And, um, what was it? Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, I want to get all the. All the uh, Items or oh, equipment. Right. So if I go up this way, there's a girl here. 
Hey, she's the one in the opening, you see, that was, I don't know. Yeah, that was playing the harmonica. And yeah, she had it stolen. It's those thieves again, isn't it? Did I hear a little, I don't know what that was, but we, yeah. Um, they showed in the opening. I'm going the wrong way. Right, it's actually right. I'm just gonna re retract this so you know exactly where to go. Yeah, from here where you go up from the village, go this way. Yeah, uh, in the in the opening, didn't every time you saw like a clip of Fina, you saw old girl. Yeah, you saw her. That woman that um, wants a harmonica. Are them two connected? Who knows? Uh, anyway, um, the abandoned mines. Let me get my map up. Right. Now, this area can be a bit tough, not with enemies, but we've seen what things because there's just like a little light. You can. No, you can. The light is actually bigger. On this, on I'd uh, call it the remake version. This is uh, not actually the remake. The remake's on PS2, um, but the semi remake, of course. Uh, apart from the the NES and the Mega Drive, the light is bigger. The NES and the Mega Drive, the light is awful. Right. Okay. So we want to go all the way to the left, and then down, and then a bit to the right, to the sky. Now, when I've reached, no, I'm actually, yeah, when I've reached maximum level, I am actually going to stop getting data from everything. And we get the healing potion, that's one of them, because like I said, I'm going to stop there. Right. In case some of you did skip the spoiler. Right. Now I'll go up here, to this guy, go right. Up, right a bit up. No, hang about. Uh, right. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Right up here, and we get another chest. Silver armor. Right, I'm gonna say this now, okay? Oh, it automatically equips. The silver armor is basically what they say. <laughs> would be the ultimate equipment, which it is actually not. That's what I'm saying. Uh, right, okay, I've gone the wrong way. We're up again. I know, ah, I know where I am. Yeah, right, I'm going to go over here, up here. From where I went all the way round in circles. So I'm sorry about that. Now straight, straight down. Maybe not. It's a worm. Okay. Timer ring. This ring will actually slow down enemies when you attack them, but as every person that did a play for on this main, oh, leveled up. Mainly, mo uh, every person I've seen do a play for on this never uses the time ring, and neither do I. Oh yeah, that's a point. Um, now, when I fought that snake, I might have killed it with three hits if I you had my power up ring on, but I didn't. We have a little tunnel here, yeah. Cool. Right, in here. There is bridge. Now we can use this to stand still and heal.
we're still on the first floor. Right, here is the second floor. Right. And there's going to be even newer enemies here. Right. We've got up here. Yeah, I am tapping the movement so you can um, keep up. I've noticed YouTubers that have played do this just run so fast for it. And the eyeball blocking away. Yeah, just take this. Right, yeah. Right, walk into him. And we get another treasure chest. Which is a hill ring. This is really helpful in other versions. Maybe not on this version. Because enemies are just so weak. That most enemies will just take one damage. But the hill ring allows you to stand still and heal at anywhere. Even in dungeons. If you use it in areas you can heal, you will heal double as fast as well. Now, I see, I'm not gaining any healing. But if you add that ring on, you can. Um, right, let me land here. Right, um, no, this is not. Bit further on. Oh, eyeball. Right. And we get that harmonica. Not gonna go back just yet. So, hey, let me let me just go. I'll kill these while I'm here. No, nothing now. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how quicker. Now, all right. Before I begin, let me save it. No, no, no. There's no boss or anything. I just wanna show you the difference. So we're out here. You see how? Oh yeah, it's going up a bit faster because we are higher health. So the higher the health, the faster it'll go. So if I load my file and then equip the ring. Oh, I did have the hill ring on. No, I didn't. Okay. That there. Look how fast it goes up. Double. Apparently, it is it is double the speed if you're outside. Or any area that you can um, heal. Yeah. We're still on the second floor, and there is no stairs in it. The uh, loader seed. Loader. And yeah, we're back. Oh yeah, we're back in the main area of the second floor. So yeah, no door there. So we are. Oh god, I've lost a lot of health. I must have got hit while standing still, looking at the map. So, I'm going to use this wing to get me back, straight back to the village. No, come on, focus. Oh, no, okay. Oh, okay, the uh, R1 button will change rings. Didn't know that. I think what button it, what button it is to use items. Oh, yes, it is a circle on, the, on my PS4 controller. Of course, you could just tap the item in the bottom of the screen. Right. Oh yeah, of course, I also took my defence ring off, that's why they did a bit more damage. And while I'm here, I'm going to buy another wing. Also, because I've got the money, I'm going to buy the mirror. Do not know what that does at all. It just says it keeps evil away or so, I don't know. Never knew what that did. And that is all I'm going to buy. Not even a wing after the dungeon. Now, let's take that harmonica back to that woman. She's not there. Now nah, she's in here. There she is. Now you don't even have to equip it to hand it to her. Oh, the music's a bit different all of a sudden. Well, thank you. <laughs> I am amazing. The legendary brave soul. What are you talking about? Like, the player song.
What was that? Roda tree. Is that it? No experience points, or do we? I don't know. I think we did. Um, however, we're not done with her. No, 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 no. If you remember on the last, um, on the last playthrough, uh, if I go to equip, no, nope, item. Because I could just press square on my PS4 controller. We got this. Now, and you need to equip this one. Um, go up to a, uh, nothing happens. So press the item button, which is circle on a PS4 controller, or just press this thing. And it, and it will just give it to her. But you've got to stand in front of her. Or more like into her. <laughs> oh. I won't then. So that's it. You don't even get experience points for that one. However, if I leave, because you gave her that piece of paper, this will happen. This won't happen otherwise. Fina, yeah, you know her, don't you? <laughs> Who's gone? Right. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. She wrote that song, and that was her notes. Now, and I, they say this happens on Steam, but I did it on Steam version. It didn't happen. But I have noticed on Android. I you haven't seen it because I've already got it. But if you give her the um. Baines, Blaines. If you give her that note, the permit or put well, permit, I forgot that. Um, you will get an achievement on Android. They say you do get um, a Steam achievement, but I didn't. So, uh, no, no, walking to the sign. Are we going back to the mine? No, we're not, because there's something else I want to do. Now. Why not? No, no, okay, straight up, yeah, it's just a straight up from this area. Let uh, me go here. Oh, do we? Uh, no, uh, oh, uh, hang on, we can yeah, just a shortcut. No, no, not a shortcut, a longer way, I, I'm... I apologise for that. Yeah, we could have just gone up and left instead of left and up. Hmm. Nothing still. So, <clears throat> we now eat that loner seed. Yeah, the Japanese at the top, English at the bottom in blue. Go to my little brother. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, I, I showed it on the last um, episode where 
the other row of the tree is. So I'll just skip through and meet you on the other. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah, the village is uh, up, up and uh, east there, so left, right, give it right, it's right, not left. Uh, the village where Fina is, I mean, and the elder, and the old woman. Yeah, I had to think about where I was going then. Oh, also, if you eat that nut and talk to a tree before giving... Um, that woman, the harmonica, the trees will, will be like, they can't talk to you. That woman somehow woke them up. And here's the other, the little brother. You are the one who will open the door. Let your heart be your guiding key. <laughs> yeah. They're saying about the silver stuff. They're basically saying that's the ultimate weapon, but... This ain't a spoiler, but there's another slot here. So yeah, there is uh, another uh, gear you can get in the final dungeon. Of course, you'll automatically equip that on the Android version. I do not know how to turn it off. I am really sorry. I've been uh, holding the button. I should like tap it to let you so you know where I'm going so you could keep up I mean uh no it's down here yeah up up through, uh, just right across there is the way to the other village only two villages in this game Oh yeah, this way. Now just go and make sure that you know where that fence is and a sign. If you come up through this way. Okay, right, back through here. Uh, right. This is actually a longer way. But I, I want to get the experience. No longer the money. <laughs> Oh, if you are using some of the map and you're wondering where you are in this bit, on the first floor it looks like a bit of water, or, uh, but this uh, black thing here looks like a bit of water on the map. And of course, then is that other treasure chest. It'll be marked as a B on that treasure chest on the map. So yeah, in case you get lost, that's where you are. If you're using the maps I'm using, I left in the first video description. And yeah, finally found out how to do that. <laughs> now, I did say like uh, once that I didn't know how to do that properly. Right. Uh, oh no, there's that little hidden door. Just one point, alright. I'm not bothered with that OCD stuff. That sort of thing, I don't have that type of OCD. I think I have another type where I'm just completely obsessed of something and uh, I just got a like, pla like if it was a game and I'm, I'm obsessed with oh no 
Um, I have to play it, play other versions of it, uh, have its theme tunes playing in the background or download, all that sort of stuff. I haven't actually had that kind of a problem, fully, I'd say, for, for a few years. I mean, yeah, I know that last, when I was playing on Sunday, yeast, at the weekend I had a big thing of yeast, not really now. I'm playing another game now. I mean, I'm playing Skyrim. Um, and the yeast, but I have actually taken time to do YouTube for ya. To go, yeah. I am, I am gonna play Yeast 2 when I'm finished with this. Right, I'm gonna go up here this time. Yeah, we went round a bit to the third floor. Right, and we got more newer enemies. Um, Now, I am going to go up the last level here. Yeah, even on the DS version, as more as like 14 more levels, you will basically still uh, max that level here. That is apparently I have tested. It's only uh, only for um, e uh, or easy difficulty. More difficulties, it does actually take you longer to level up on on. I don't know if it's any yeast, but I do notice that's on the uh, DS version. I got to this part, and I was only level 16 on the DS. And I was playing normal difficulty. Right. I was going the wrong way. Or was I? Uh, right, okay. Oh, another new enemy. Here, we would get the potion, but don't need it. This is where I'm going. Then we get a key of Darn. Now let's go walk back here to the enemy kills. Uh, the second uh, yeast, the walking into enemies to kill them is way more advanced. Yeah, you hack, 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 hack really fast when you walk into them. And you can even walk into them head on and not take a damage every time you hit, hit, uh, walk into them head on. Right, we reach the max level. Yeah, they increase the level on Yeast 2 because the story mode's longer. It's the actual the final chapter of this part of Yeast. Until of course you play Yeast 4, which is actually um, a continue of Yeast 2 of Yeast 2, yeah. Because apparently Yeast 3 is uh, before this oh yeah it's before Yeast 4 but after Yeast 2. That makes sense, doesn't it? No, uh, it's, I, I don't. I've heard that it's like, no, it's a prequel. It's like, um, before Yeast 1, Yeast 3. Yeah. Because uh, Yeast 2 carries on directly straight after Yeast 1. Like, the second after Yeast 1, so. Uh, trying to think where I'm going. Right, okay. Oh, bugger off. I know I'm getting your data, but... Up here, round it. Ah, right, now I'm going the right way. Right down the left, and then right down the bottom. Yeah, I still kill him, whatever. If I see an enemy in my way, I kill There's the boss. Now, 
I could just use the um, the ring, but I'm not. Now, a lot of people would say that this boss is the worst in the whole game. Not on Android version. So, uh, what I want I want to show you how easy it is to kill this with the defense uh, attack ring. So, before I begin, I'm going to save it just in case. Now, examine the chest. Now, he's going to make a load of bats. I think there's a Zelda game that has a boss like this. But seconds of walking. Look, I've done so much damage to him already. Three hits it takes if you're max level and have the power ring on Android version. And any other version, there are way more bats than this. Got one more hit. Yeah, pity they uh, couldn't make you uh, do that in a second. I think. I think. Oh yeah. If you walk up to him, he, the bats when his bats are forming to the big bat. Oh, the gargoyle. They and you walk up to the bats. They will actually like. Oh no, they didn't then. Ah, oh, I missed him. I actually got him. Why? I just walked through him. There we go. Three hits. That's all it takes on the Android version. They weren't taking too much damage away either. And there weren't as many bats. And of course, the uh, snake boss that we fought, you can hit him anywhere. Not just a certain part that makes it a lot harder. Yeast 2, again, on the uh, Android version, is a lot easier than the original. So, yeah, um, I think we have to do this, otherwise you can't trigger the next bit. But, there's basically nothing here. Not door. You don't open this door ever. These mean nothing. Just forget about it. And I'm being honest with that. Now it says find uh, and Fina at the. Uh, I can't fucking read the words. Uh, equip. That's it. I did not equip it. Ah, oh, my buttons are well bad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, get away, woman, girl. Right, uh. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with NPCs on the second game. Right, I'm gonna actually buy another potion. Yes, we can find another potion later on. But I wanna use just a little bit of this money. Oh, I was using the wrong thing, okay. I need medicine. Healing potion 300. Bugger off. And I'm going to leave it there, folks and blokes. So, let me just get to the entrance. I'm up the hour. Coming up. So, yeah. Um, we got to see uh, Jeva and Fina the next bit. So, um, that's it. Take care, everyone. Peace and chicken grease. Let me just save it first. I said me outro a bit too uh, late then. That's it. Take care, everyone. Peace and chicken grease.